It's the Adelaide Festival and I'm in Gallery One. I'm with the work of Ariel Hassan. This is Ariel's third exhibition at the gallery, but a major exhibition. It's an extraordinary and very physical show. Apart from these amazing paintings, these are ghost paintings on, on hands and feet walking through the space. There's also a shower of meteorites coming down at you. Um, this is a, a five panel piece called Water is Wiser Than We as you enter the gallery, cast resin, and an extraordinary installation up on the mezzanine, which we'll have a look at as well. So I'll walk you through the mezzanine when we get up there, but have a look at these paintings. These, are st these paintings are all hand painted, starting originally from a very small little accident, in a sense, on glass of paint, and then uh, manip scanned, manipulated on the computer. All the colours are recolored, 60 or, uh, different colours made into little boxes, little paint pots, and then hand painted for several months each painting. An extraordinary feat, and, but at the same time there's that element of humour when you walk in and see them ready to walk out the door. This shower of meteorites is called today, all your plans are going to be successful. And of course the irony is that, that you know, this is the moment before impact, so maybe your plans won't be successful in a sense. I think it's a very ambitious and beautiful sculptural form. This year in Gallery 2, we have South African artist Peter Hugo. Peter Hugo's been going up and down four or five times over the last three years to Lagos in Nigeria and looking at Nollywood. Nollywood is the second largest producer of films in the world uh, uh, after Bollywood. Bollywood in India, Nollywood, and then Hollywood, third largest producer of films. The films are fairly uh, violent films often and a cross between Tarzan and Ram in a way. Um, Peter's been working with uh, makeup artists and the actors from Nollywood film industry in creating these extraordinary tableaus. So the, some of the, the images reflect um, famous films, so clearly the Avengers in one of the images with the three women, or over here there's a reference to Fessbinder's Corel with the, but instead of the beautiful young man in a sailor suit, it's the older woman with the cigarette. All sorts of references, nod, nod, wink wink to um, horror films, to the werewolf films of the 1940 with the werewolf and the Coca-Cola bottle um, and then other just quite uh, you know things specific to Africa. It's an extraordinary body of 36 photographs. This is the only time in the world that it's all been shown together um, and uh, we're really lucky to have Peter Hugo for the Adelaide Festival. We're on the mezzanine level of the gallery and uh, in an extraordinary installation. The figure on the ground is called again and again and again and made up of 300 individual units, hand cut and hand painted, and that construct the, the, the male figure laying down on the ground. The ground itself you know, becomes part of the work in a sense. It's, uh, the, the, the floor is called Mathematique Moderne and um, incorporates elements of his paintings along with traditional Islamic design and the two things work, work together. With 2,000 square metres of space in this building so close to the city, um, Greenaway Art Gallery I think produces one of the most exciting programs every year. This year we've got um, artists like Sally Smart exhibiting, Hossein Valamanesh in July, Paul Hoban coming up soon, Greg Garrity, we've got Adam Cullen, an amazing show of Imans Tillers and then we're bringing in some international artists and some interstate artists. So it's a, again an extraordinary program for 2010 at Greenaway Art Gallery.